So first of all, let's try and understand what web apps themselves. Okay. So think of it as a, as a client server model. So if you have uh, clients will be things like our computer, our smartphone, our laptop, tablet, the server is what d gives us the website. So at the moment I'm using my desktop, my laptop and uh, the Google server, this Google slides is kind of sending me the data back that I need to see. All right. So the client, whatever device we have phone, asks for resources from the server and the server provides it. Okay. So my laptop has asked Google, can you please send me this slideshow? Okay. Here's the slide. Here's the slide. Here's what it looks like. Here's the text. Here's the information and how to show it. All right. Now in, in bubble land. Okay. Uh, just general as well in web apps, the dis there are some parts that are done client side and some parts are done server side. Okay. Now it depends on what we are talking about. So things, there will be things like, okay, there's some resources. There's a file. The file itself is on the server, but viewing the file in a video element, it's going to be on the client side. So it depends. Bubble just handles a lot of this complexity. Uh, so it's not as kind of, uh, apparent in, in traditional coding languages, it's more like, okay, this is a front end thing. This is a back end thing, but bubble kind of makes lots of smart choices and tries to kind of reduce the complexity overall in this area. All right. So in bubble, your app lives on bubble servers. Okay. So whenever a user kind of like tries to load a particular page, bubble just sends all the information. Here's what you need to display. You need to display this button, this input, la 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 la. Now the data itself, it lives on bubble servers. A file will live on bubble servers. Whenever you want to kind of make changes to something or create something new in the database, uh, there's just an, the interaction happens uh, on client side, the data is sent to server side. In general, what I'd say is just as long as you have a rough concept in mind that, okay, you know what? Laptop, phone, desktop, client side, browser, my browser is client side, this stuff that happens on the server. So what we're building as a web app, it's kind of just have that concept in the back of your mind that there's a client server architecture in place. Okay. Just a fundamental, one of the fundamental principles. All right. Thank you very much. Let's see you in the next video. Thanks.